hello again, and this is Razor Flame Kun, and I just wanted to update you on the status of my character and my world that I started a while ago. Oh my god. That is a lot of leg. Anyways. Anyways, I gotta go fix this really quick. Alright, I'm back, and hopefully... Yep, the leg problem is fixed. Okay, so I've added two more uh, floors onto the top of this uh, building here. And I had a nurse and a demolitionist move in pretty quickly. The top two layers here are made of stone. And the walls are made of stone as well. The I'm going to leave this as the only red brick um, built part of the building for now. There's only a few more uh, NPCs that I can get to come back in, uh, to come and live in my house. Um, there's uh, two that I know of that I can still have come in. I can get an arms dealer, which should be able to move in now, but um, because of uh, this, because I found this uh, after I smashed a shadow orb, so I got a musket, and uh, the arms dealer should move in, but um, I have no idea why he isn't moving in. Uh, might have something to do with um, all the rooms being full, but I don't see how they could all be full because the guide's living there. The merchant's down here, which is which is good because this is exactly where I want him. Um, the nurse is living on the fourth floor, and the demolitions is right in the middle. Um, there should be t space for two more NPCs, uh, one of which is going to be the arms dealer once he comes in, and the other of which is going to be the Dryad once I kill the Eye of Cthulhu, which should be very soon. Um, I updated my guy's armor, I bought the mining helmet from the merchant for 8 gold, and it's a big help uh, when you go down into the um, caverns, because it lights um, you, it lights the area around you a couple blocks, which is really nice, because you don't have to hold, keep on holding torches all up, um, up all over the place. Um, I made some silver chainmail, uh, and some iron greaves, and I found a cloud in a bottle, which allows me to double jump, which allows me to access higher places and not use so much of these dirt blocks to get through the, uh, caverns. Um, I got this shackle, uh, which is a very rare drop from zombies. Um, they are an accessory and they, uh, as you can see, they, um, they, when you equip them, they give you one defense. And then I found these in a treasure chest down in the cave, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, basically, uh, let's see if I can show you. It makes you run really fast. As you can see, you get some clouds of white dust underneath you, and um, you move really fast. Um, so now let's go check out the left side, which I went, I um, expanded greatly. This cave right here, I found all sorts of things, and this is where I found both the cloud in the bottle and the Hermes boots. As you can see, I, there's torches all over the place and these little uh, dirt walkways which I use to help me um, get up and down uh, easier. Um, the weapon I'm using now is, a, is the Gold Broadsword which deals 13 damage and has a fast attack speed which is really good because I've been getting swarmed lately. I um, built an iron hammer, an iron axe, and an iron pickaxe to help me uh, mine and cut down wood faster. So let's continue down through this cave. This cave, as I said, was very expansive. And as you can see by the number of torches, I've explored it very thoroughly so far. Let's just kill this slime here and then let's go down. Now, I was going through this area earlier, um, and I died, because I forgot to breathe, Stu stupid me, but, um, I'm gonna head back to that area, because it had some, uh, it had, uh, really, it had some gold underneath it, which I really want, because gold is the next step of, um, armor after silver, and that is 
that should really help once I get it. Uh, if I can remember the way, I think it's down here. And as you can see, this cave goes on forever. I might go off uh, looking around because I might see something that catches my interest. But I haven't seen anything so far. Okay, I think I'm coming close towards the way, um, towards the uh, place, place where I died earlier. Anyways, this the goal of this video was to update you on the, I wanted to show you, uh, update you on the, the shelter and who's moved in and my armor and equipment. And also, I wanted to show you this huge cave that I've been exploring. Gotta use a potion to heal. And as you can see, I have 180 heart. I have 180 health because I found four crystal hearts in this cave so far. Now oh, let's see. Oh yes, it's over to the right here. And it's down here. And then it's up here. Um. Then it's up here. I, I believe it is, anyways. Nope, it's a dead end. Well, I'm gonna find this um, this place that I wanted, uh, this place that I was mining, and um, when I get there, oh no, I think I'll continue the recording because it's really this. I really wanted to show you this whole cave. Because of how huge and massive it is. Uh, nope, that wasn't it. Uh, I remember where it was because it was a water pit. Okay, it's down further here. Ah, here it is. Right here. See, there is gold down there, which I really want. I'm gonna place a torch. Gotta keep it. I am my breath here because if the breath reaches zero then your life will start going down uh, two life every half second I think it goes down really fast anyways um, the only ways to make the level off this water is to do this and as you can see it starts going down a little bit don't need any slimes ambushing me now though Because that could ruin my day. So, I'm gonna continue leveling out the water here, making it go down, and, and avoiding the giant worm. Which should die in one hit, but apparently this one doesn't. Which has me confused. Ah, there we go. So, I'm gonna continue on leveling this out. And as you can see, sand has the same physics as in Minecraft, so... That, that, um... Ah, crap. And now, as you can see, it damages you when you go, uh... When you, uh, stand underneath the falling block, which really sucks. Okay, so now the gold's down here. So I'm gonna go and get it. And then jump up for breath, and then come back down and get it. Get more of it. And jump back up, finish the breath, and I think this is iron here. Yep, this is iron, so I'm going to continue. Ow. Avoiding the falling blocks and then continuing to mine the iron. Because I'm going to need it. Uh, don't know why I'm getting it, um, because I have no more use for iron anymore, I don't think. Getting some, okay, so now there's, this is copper right here, but I'm not going to get it because it's pretty much useless for me right now. So now I'm going to go back, I'm going to build a little staircase here, one of these dirt thingies, and then I can double jump back up here. So now I'm going to continue showing the rest of this cave. Uh, the cave goes on for quite a while, and it goes... There's the first treasure chest, which had the cloud in the bottle, which I was really grateful for. Um, and there's some clay blocks in there that I placed in there to free up some space. So now we just follow the torches, and we get another big drop. 
with a lot, I mean a ton of stone and a ton of torches placed by me to help me illuminate the area. And here is the second treasure chest with which had the Hermes boots. And when uh, originally none of this dirt was here, so I accidentally dropped the Hermes boots down here and into water down there. And so I had to go diving to retrieve that. Uh, this is a black slime which has 45 health and they're not too tough for me now. However, that giant slime is called the Mother Slime and they are quite a bit harder to uh, kill because they have 90 health and once you kill them they also spawn two or three baby slimes to attack you which each hit me for nine which is a lot. Um, considering I only have 180 health, so I'm going to drink another potion and continue down. See how the um, background here changed? That means that I'm in um, the area where black slimes, skeletons, and other really, really um, harder mobs spawn. Like that skeleton right there, which hits me for a massive 16 health. And the black slime hits me for 11 health. Anyways, um, be right back with the second part of this.